Now this illustration deals with laundry circuits in accordance with 210.52F. Now we've left the small appliance circuits for the kitchen, pantry, dining room, and breakfast room. And now this figure 10-17 is illustrating requirements for the laundry circuit. Now notice this laundry uh, particular washing machine is connected to a 120 volt uh, GFCI, the washing machine. Uh, and it has to be protected uh, uh, by GFCI. But now notice we could not uh, supply a lighting outlet that you see there with this laundry circuit with a switch switching the luminaire in 210.70A. However, uh, this circuit in accordance with 210.50C could supply a laundry circuit, as you see for, uh, say, a pull-down ironing board uh, with a receptacle for the uh, iron. And notice they all should be uh, GFCI protected, as you see uh, in the drawing. And you notice if uh, that switch, if it was in there, it would have to be on another circuit in addition to this laundry circuit, and the switch would be uh, no higher than six foot seven inches to the hand on the own uh, position. So uh, many times the switch is set up at five foot six inches, and that, that pretty well uh, would be a, a height that would be pretty uh, good for, a, uh, for people in the dwelling, but now that's not including uh, switch height for handicap. Uh, we would, uh, they could be lower, you know, uh, down so uh, someone in a wheelchair could get it and meet the uh, regulations. And we will get into that a little later. But this figure 10 17 is illustrated in 210.52F that only the outlets in the laundry room that pertain to the laundry room could be supplied by the laundry circuit and it must be GFCI protected in accordance with 210.8, A is in Apple, 10.